He's like a marketing guy at like a fucking big video game company. He's like 6'2". Good for him. Uh, she also was a fuck. She's immature as shit. Every, everybody is... Uh, but yeah, you know, one. when you're in love with somebody, you're in love with somebody. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't feel like you should just be able to get out of that if you want. Huh? How no. nice is this? I know different. I was reading a... Uh, How zen is this? Yeah, keep that one on. It's kind of nice, right? Keep that on for a little bit. Yeah, it's good. Are we recording? Yeah, we are. All right. Uh, I, f- I read a, a thing that it was like women, when they're in love, they um, assume a more uh, motherly role. And when men are in love, they uh, kind of revert more into being a child. Uh, Yeah, that's like basic Freud, I think, right? Isn't that funny, though? And it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. And you'll, you'll, al- you'll always see it in a relationship when the man gets sick. Men are mm. pussies when they're sick. I become a fucking invalid. Oh. Yeah. Anytime I'm in a relationship and I've been like, I have the flu, I just become a big baby. And like, yeah, my yeah, yeah. Take care of me and it's horrible. But that's just how guys are. They kind of love yeah. an excuse to do that. Um, yeah. We- but, um, you know, I feel much more at ease now for that first episode where I was going off about it uh, and Jolly. <laughs> it's the jellyfish are helping you. The jellyfish are helping. Hon- honestly, like, I. <laughs> think the patreons are more like i just feel more relaxed like i can just yeah because you can loosen up a little bit loosen up a bit it's like i'm feel like these are people i don't care to like censor myself at all with like not that i'm really censoring yeah. myself at all in the bubble episodes these days i really am not but mm-hmm. i just i feel more free i'm not like thinking about what could get me banned Everyone or whatever and, and it's like it's, it's so narcissistic to think that like i'm gonna be the one that's banned but i don't think it it's, in a narcissistic, narcissistic way that's, it's a bot that's, that can do it it's not that's it's not, not like it's not like i'm on anyone's radar i'm not trying to imply that either i'm just saying Everyone's that like on the radar dude that's not narcissistic well i i do run in some circles where i'm like you kind of wonder who's <laughs> like who's gonna fuck is yeah well i don't know i went to some comedy show that maria bamford was supposed to it was a fundraiser um mm. that a couple friends of mine were throwing and um these aren't like good friends of mine. I'm a somewhat, I, I don't know them very well, but um, they put on, they did a fundraiser for is uh, for Israel, not for Israel, sorry, uh, for Syria and uh, for Turkey for the earthquake that nobody, mm. everyone forgot about the fact that 40,000 people died. Um, you know, in it's, Turkey. A lot of it's a lot of people. That no is, one, no one's talking about over, it. That's like 15, nine 11s. No, that's what I was saying before. I said yeah. 35, nine 11s, but it's, I'm not good at math. 30. Yeah. yeah but no, um, 3000 people died in nine 11. Yes. Yeah, so it's more like 15, but it's, a, it's a lot of nine 11s. It's, it's so many nine 11s that we should talk about it, but nobody cares. And so Maria Bamford was supposed to perform, but you know, she, uh, something went wrong with her, you know, mentally she's, you know, she, I think she, something happened and she's kind of going through something. So she didn't show up. And so then we had to watch all these other like Silver Lake, uh, blue hairs do comedy. For lack well, of a better word. I would Not all of them. That. Some of them were fine. There were actually some that I did like that were good, like good, funny comedians that are, that are friends of mine. But then there were the other ones. That are the uh, yes and and yeah. the and the fucking I mean and then they do like this trope where it's like there's one of them that's like I don't I don't I don't know what I should say and what I shouldn't say just fucking do but, it bro but well it's like I none of these people are funny let's just be honest about it a couple of them that Nobody's I did funny. know are funny but they're not funny they have no real point to make uh, none of the most comedians aren't funny I'm sorry I'm like dropping my AirPods all over the place. Um, they're not funny. They have nothing to say. They look like tech employees, but without uh, the money, huh? Here, use the fidget gun. So they're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> they have no redeemable qualities whatsoever. They actually suck in every way imaginable. Mm-hmm. They are also ugly on top of everything sometimes where you're just like, yeah. damn, you're fat and ugly. Like, that God sucks, damn. Dude. God damn, it would suck yeah. to be you. It would really suck if I shot. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> but it's, but you know, you kind of, you're in this like, oh, the bar. I was charged $16 for a Dixie cup of vodka. And then I got a, the first what drink I bought, the first drink I bought, I did not want to spend $12 on a drink. They charged me 12 fucking dollars for a bullshit. By the way, this is at a house. It's like a punk house. Okay. That they have comedy shows at. Is the house of fun? 
Huh? Is it the House of Fun? No. What is it's it? It's called, it's brand new. I shouldn't tell. It's oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I didn't know there were more punk co-ops opening up. I it's thought a th- bullshit I didn't know punk co-op. It, it was fucking weird. There were two bars, but the one bar that had all the alcohol, the other one was like, oh, we're just doing shots. I'm like, okay, well, I don't want a shot. I just want like a vodka soda. But you have to wade through a pool of blue hairs just to get to the other part of the bar where you can actually access a drink. I was charged $12 for literally a Dixie cup of a vodka soda. And so then I was like, this is awful. I'm not going to spend another $12 on this stupid drink but then it was like then the comedy show kept going and I was like well I have no choice I'm not gonna be be sober during this it's uh, awful and so then I went to go get another drink the second drink is $16 fucking 16 bucks what vodka were they using bro I need fucking uh, Tito's you know I mean yeah that's no that's $16 for a Dixie cup that's expensive for Tito's that's crazy. That's it's for crazy for Belvedere. We charge, we charge twelve dollars for Tito's. We charge like fourteen dollars. Yeah, for but Belvedere. you're giving them an actual highball or something. Like this is like yeah. a this is literally a Dixie cup, and mm-hmm. they barely put any vodka in it. Like it was so, it was very frustrating. And um and then towards the end, once the comedy show finally uh, concluded, then uh, then you know I was talking to some of the, the people there, and I like that like some of these people are like. I actually really enjoy their company. Um, the ones that aren't insane in the in the membrane. What is it? Insane? In, is that what? That's it. it? You in, got insane it. Insane in the Except membrane. And then that, but then I was called an ideologue, and I was like, I'm an ideologue. I've called you an ideologue for years. Well, they said you're dickhead. an ideologue. Like they said it like Jordan Peterson. Idi- or something. Who said that? I don't know. They just they called me an <laughs> ideologue, and I'm like, I am no such thing. I'm you not gotta an go, ideologue. I'm, an, I'm not an ideologue. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm just, you know what? I'm not a libertarian. I'm not a conservative. I'm not a leftist. I'm not a liberal. I'm just a girl in the world. I'm just a girl in the world. I'm just a girl. What's that song? Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Gwen, by Gwen Stefani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the or resident Gwen Armenian. Gwen Stefanian. <laughs> you remember when you said she's Armenian? Dude, those are one of those things that like, uh, <laughs> I had a dude come into my bar the other day. He, he's a really nice guy. And he said uh, the first time he had horchata. The first time he had horchata, he was with a bunch of Latinos, and they were like, yo, they told him it was rabbit milk. Oh. And he said, for 10 years, I was telling everybody it's rabbit milk. Horchata? (laughs) Horchata, yeah. He thought it was rabbit milk. He's like, damn, rabbit milk's good. Can you milk a bunny? For sure, it's a. It's got. Well, it, it, this is this is literally this is literally the. It, it's got it's got nipples. It's got tits. <laughs> Can you milk me? Can you milk me, Jim? Um, I never thought about it like that. Uh, yeah, everything has got milk, dude. You can milk anything. Can you milk an ant? No, it's not a mammal. Oh, I, you know, milk. it's crazy. Can I say some crazy shit? You can say some can crazy shit. Can I say some shit, shit that's gonna make people think I'm really stupid? Yeah. I never quite figured out what a mammal was. A mammal is. How insane is that to admit All though right. on here? That, very good. A mammal. No, like I, it's, it, I know what it is. Like when someone says it, but there was no, reti- I can't retain it. I can't retain what's it's a mammal and what's not. A, and I don't, anything, what's the opposite of a mammal? Anything with hair is a mammal. Okay. okay. And what's the opposite of a mammal? Um, Probably a reptile. So there's not an opposite. There's not an antonym. No, that's like saying what's the opposite of a deer. So it, then why like, do we use the word mammal? Why don't because we just say a, something in hair? Have, I believe mammal may come from the fact <laughs> that it has really mammaries. Mammar? Mammaries are tits. Memory? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so anything with hair is a mammal. I believe um, uh, the, you'll get like weird mammals like platypuses. Okay, but it doesn't are, have hair. Which are like kind of like... Uh, Pla- platypi? Yeah, but the, it's got like a duck bill, but it's also got hair. Oh. Um, Does it? Yeah, they're also, so also they're, they platypuses, have their penises, platypus. their penises look like starfish. Oh, that's um, cool. The, uh, uh, are they British? <laughs> they're British, yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, platypuses are really cool. Um, yeah, mammals have hair, dude. Anything with hair is a so, mammal. So, turtle. Dolph- dolphins are mammals. Turtle's a mammal. Dolphins or no, are- do- turtle's not a mammal because it has no hair. I believe dolphins and Whales are holy shit. You Hold don't on. know what a mammal is either. No, I Nobody know what a mammal is. It's not just me. You get your. Nimrod. You you don't right, fucking know. You don't Our know what a mammal is. Dolphins. You're- the dolphin doesn't have hair, so it's yeah, not a it mammal. Has, it has okay. according to your rule. Yeah, orcas are mammals. Um, but they don't have hair. Let's see. Um, yeah, all dolphins, orcas are mammals. Uh, pilot whales, a uh, beluga whale is a mammal. Um, yeah, I but think it well, be, have well, hair, well, so then why? It, I think it, I think it does. I, I, I think it does have. <laughs> I think it has to do with the mammaries. 
but like a big, a quick, easy cheat. So type a in quick, what is a mammal? What is a mammal? I think a quick, easy cheat is does it have hair? But I believe it comes from mammary grants. Okay. A mammal is a vertebrate animal of the class mammalia. Mammals are characterized by the presence of milk producing mammary glands. Mm. So I'm correct for feeding their young. Um, fur, sea uh, otters, a mammal. A neocortex region of the brain, fur, or hair, and three middle ear bones. Mm. So uh, rats are, uh, rat, uh, bats are mammals. Um, they do have hair. They have hair. They're hairy. Polar bears are mammals. Yep. Um, R.I.P. to the ones we are going to unfortunately lose pretty soon. Yeah, you know, and then when you get to mammals, you get platypus is a weird one, man. <laughs> yeah. It's a mammal. Sure he's yeah. out on the platypus. It's got a duck. It's it. Well, the crazy thing about platypus is, is they lay eggs. Mm. And like uh, mammals don't usually lay eggs. Um, Or I think it may be the only mammal that lays eggs. Am I a mammal? Yes, you are a mammal. I am a mammal as well. <laughs> Good. What um, about aliens? Aliens, we don't know. Aliens could could not be carbon based life forms. So um, they're the bubbles from. They could either the bubbles, the bubbles, super bubbly. Um, Why were yeah. we talking about mammals? Um, you brought us to this point. I don't know. I forgot. But uh, what else? What else is going on? What else There's is going really on? There's really nothing happening. There's relax. So- Relax. It's just, you know, the, the nihilism I feel some days. I know. You need to cut out with that bullshit. It's not unbecoming. It's, it's lately. It's, it's lately. unbecoming. It's unbecoming. It's just lately because of, you know, Vimeo. <laughs> yeah, Vimeo. Vimeo got you it's, down. Here's 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 the thing. Shit bothers me so much. You can't let these minor roadblocks ruin your day but they're not minor like they take up hours of your day and then it, there, and then you any, realize that you're giving hours of your time away to companies that could truly give a shit about you like they don't care at all and not i mean of course they don't that's that's the whole reason that they exist but not to provide a service or a product that could actually help or benefit you um and then the ones that you do have that companies are offering are made to break and you know cars are just meant to break and everything is, is made out of plastic and everything is outsourced and i don't know i think my brain is starting to explode right I now know. a little so bit I'm gonna, and I'm need gonna to, give you- i need to just like I need to just like get high and watch Gordon Ramsay and like reset. I'm going to give you a really bitter pill right now. Okay. And uh, it's a pill that I had to swallow like two years ago. Mm. Um, and the more I thought about it, the more it made sense. And um, I was going through a very, very tough time in my life. Yeah. And I have a friend. He's like an older brother to I. Mm-hmm. And he called me up and I was just bitching and moaning. You've heard me bitch before. Oh, boy, have you heard me bitch, Ida. <laughs> yes, I have. So when I was bitching and moaning to well, you've him. You've heard me bitch as well. I know. We all bitch. But uh, when I was bitching and moaning to him, he was like, John, what are you What are you sad about? And I was like, blah, 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 blah. And he said, yeah, but why are you sad? And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, you wanted this to happen. This is your yeah. fault. Yeah, you told me about this yes. once. You have to literally keep remembering. I didn't want to be fucked by Vimeo. No, no, no. But you're, it's not that. You're not thinking of it clearly. It's it's your reaction to I it. I want to have you some words taking, with your friend. You can have words with him. He's going to fucking destroy you. He, uh, is uh, one of the, he is one of the meanest <laughs> sons of bitches. I don't uh, think so. Oh, man. You you couldn't hold a flame to his life. Why? Why? Who is this guy? You, you, think, I couldn't, foot, I, you think I couldn't win a verbal f- spat? What are you out of your mind? No, he's a six foot three. Oh, physically ex- short. No. No, I'm not even talking about physically. He's a six foot three. Just a little insight in his mind. He's a six foot three ex boxer from fucking England who has a fucking scar across his neck from where a man pushed a machete into it. Okay, what does that have to do with his mental it means he's, prowess? He's like, been through a lot of mental anguish, and he's, right, I'm he's, talking he's, verbal sparring. I would win. Verbal sparring, he would shut down. You wouldn't. You want. You can't. Be, Okay, I'll, I'll be. It'd you be, just it'd said be weird. he would light me up. You acted like he would like. Win if he and heard you, you bitching about Vimeo, he would just he would he would make you feel small. Why? Because he's get because somebody because uh, someone be like, beat him up. No, what the not fuck because does that have to do with no, anything. No, because because he would he tell you the same thing he told me is like companies. No, no, I didn't choose the, it. I didn't no, choose it. Ida, Ida, you're getting it totally wrong. It's not the tech company. It's yet yeah, you couldn't have chosen. You didn't choose to get fucked by Vimeo, but your reaction to it and the fact that it's like ruined your day. Imagine not reacting to it though. Like that's the thing. Like people are like that's called oh, well, non-attachment. That's a very good skill. No, but like people, you know, they also called me at that party. They're like, you're reactionary, and I'm like, can you imagine if I wasn't reactionary? No, that do they know what reactionary means? Well, I'm like, Jesus but here, well, let's etymologically look at it. What is so yeah. bad about being reactionary i mean thank, <laughs> sound clip that guy thank, thank, huh? i mean like 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 honestly like 
Thank God people are reactionary. Can you imagine if we just, because we, yeah. we're gaslit day in, day out by society. Yeah. Imagine if you didn't have a reaction to that. I mean, like yeah. every action has an equal and opposite reaction or it should scientifically, uh, it, 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 it should. And so that I think applies to, I don't know, just, just the way we approach any sort of, uh, conversation or you know whatever political climate you're in mm -hmm. like thank god there's somebody reacting like yeah. if you imagine everybody just goes along like sheeple and nobody fucking reacts yeah some of these people are crazy you don't always want candace owens you know but it's better that she be there than not be there and in, in many ways in my opinion you need somebody to react even if they are kind of like going all the way far way too far i'm not even i'm not even talking about that like we're getting like buddhist non-attachment theory i think it's the most cowardly thing on earth like i even i like some stoics but i feel like a lot of stoicism there's a, like a lot of stoicism that i think is bullshit and i'm very happy yeah. i'm very happy that i'm an emotional a reaction reactive person and I get angry about things and sad about things because like that, it also is like, it works in the opposite. Like I, I'll, I feel like, um, I feel like if I had, I feel like I could, I care for somebody way better than fucking Raj, Raj, the Rajesh or whatever the Raji, Raj, 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 what's that guy's name? <laughs> Rajneesh. Rajneesh. Yeah, yeah. I can like, I can like, I can love probably harder than he can because he's a dumb bitch that is like, I do not care about anything on they earth. Are, feelings are retarded. Feelings are retarded. And I'll be <laughs> like, no, I'm going to, you know, like there's like, I forget which stoic it was, but like, he was just like, he was like arguing that you shouldn't be sad when your child dies. Yeah. Cause it's going to die anyways. It's well, like, that's, that's fucking crazy. retarded. Well, yeah, that's, that's retarded. That's some Cain and Abel shit. That's, well, that's I mean, that's, I mean, he's yeah. a Greek philosopher, and like children dying was probably very commonplace back then. But um, yeah, I mean, know. If, if it's at that, you know, yeah. back in the day, losing a kid was like, you know, your goldfish dying. Yeah, there's. <laughs> I'm there, kidding, but like, no, you, for real, you would make you another lost one. So many that you just yeah. kind of like you had to move on. You know, um, what, you know, my life expectancy was so low back then. One of the main reasons, one of the biggest, uh, it's probably so many. It's probably a confluence of many things. It's one of the biggest rises in life expectancy uh, in history. Was proper dental care. People oh, just get fucking oh, taken. Yeah, people just get taken out in their thirties by tooth infections. Shit, really? Yeah. God damn. Yeah, dude. It's proper dental hygiene. That's that raised li like human life expectancy like immensely. That's crazy. Doesn't I, I wouldn't have thought that. Um, but then you put, you know, seed oils into the mix. Mm-hmm. Balance things out again. You know, we don't have tuberculosis, but we have canola oil. I'm kidding. It's not the same thing. I grab that tuberculosis, dude. Damn, really? Yeah, she did uh, know her suds for the first like five years of their life because she was at, uh, she was uh, quarantined. You had to be quarantined, huh? If you had TB. You had to be taken to a TB hospital in the desert, yeah. Well, I was watching Boardwalk and like they just had her live in her own room. Yeah. Know, at I, the house. So it's like, aren't there varying degrees of tuberculosis? Well, I think or? like I think like you would want a dry, arid climate to heal from tuberculosis. But I don't think you can heal from it. That's the whole thing. Are you having your entire I don't know. Well, she got they better. They called it consumption. Back she got then? she got better. Um, Which I just thought it was alcoholism. I was, yeah. like, I was like, why is this 14 year old such an alcoholic? Yeah, tuberculosis. My grandpa had polio. That was crazy. Yeah, that shit's yeah, crazy too. Um, and then there's varying degrees of that. Another thing I learned mm -hmm. from Boardwalk Empire. Um, fabulous show. I met I a guy recommend. one time. He was the uh, he was a uh, victim of polio. He was in his 60s and he was on crutches. And I was like, what's up? And he was like, I, I had polio. And I was like, whoa. Like, I was like, this is like five years ago and i was like I can't believe there are people in america with polio that still. is really crazy the vaccine's was, been around forever well he was one of the last children to get uh inoculated with the vaccine and some of the children that got inoculated with the vaccine got polio from it oh shit so really? he, yeah he uh because it's an active polio virus they put in you it's or in, an inactive polio there. virus or something yeah but he was he was like yeah, it was just an unlucky thing damn at me when i was a baby and i was like damn that sucks i am happy that I would prefer to live in a technological like hell rather than live in a that hell. That's worse. I would rather slowly turn into a robot and lose my humanity than like not have access to. Although these days, like I'll you can't you. you can't get like a prescription filled anyway. So it's like I'm see, but I'm equating it. It's not the same. Yeah, but I mean, same. like I don't have polio. I'd way rather have COVID than have you know a TB or cholera or whatever the fuck else, scarlet fever, yeah. or whatever the hell else they were plagued with at the time. Smallpox yeah. is way earlier, but still. Smallpox would suck ass. Smallpox, like I would straight up kill myself. I have. Because of, like the sores on your face, like I yeah. would, I would smallpox immediately scars. blow my brains out. Like, yeah, I, I, I have a smallpox probably. vaccine. Um, the, uh, uh, yeah, getting hand foot mouth disease made me like really feel for people with smallpox and monkeypox. I was like, damn, 
it's if I'm getting awful. a pox disease. Like when I was reading about the people who had monkey pox and they were talking about the pain they're in. And I was like, dude, I'm fe- like feeling Is that. Is that the piss orgy one? That's the piss orgy yeah, one. But yeah. now, but now it's becoming like prominent, like kindergarten and stuff. Like, to what? Monkey pox is no longer like a sexual thing. It's like just normal people are getting it. It's just really rare. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it originated. In Maybe like, those kindergartners yeah, are fucking, it, fucking each other. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> Aldous Huxley. So. It, it, like, originated in Africa. There was, like, a lot of people getting in Africa for a long time. I have, like, allergies right now. It's Amber Heard season. Oh, really? Yeah. I, um... I have a slight sore throat, but I don't know if it's because I've been talking so much. Same here. I had a beer. I, I had a anymore. beer, and alcohol gives me a sore throat. Um... Oh. What? Weird. What? Weird. I just keep getting messages from strange people. Same. Yeah. Same. I get I weirdos hitting me up. No, no, not from like the podcast, but like other like people that just, I think it's like they're like Bitcoin adjacent, but I don't know. Mm. They keep it. It's like they're spamming me. Let's look at some different colors. I get like. Um, look at uh, this lava lamp. Holy shit. Oh, we're green now. Whoa. I get like, uh, I turn those on in my room sometimes. Uh, I get fake uh whores oh constantly yeah i get like those the too. fake ones that are like her name their ig will be like maria 14 26 89 38 Same. and i'm like like what is this shit i get that too all the time it's they're, so they're you have to block them but they still don't go away well the problem is is like i've carefully curated my instagram of like whenever you know i just remove all the whores you gotta remove the horse. You gotta remove the horse. It's from so the embarrassing scrolling through Instagram and all of a sudden like a big fat ass. <laughs> like, you're like, great. You're like, great. I was fucking, you know, scrolling one night and I was like, all right, great. Uh, you're trying to find like a cozy cabin vibe and instead yeah. you just get a big I, fat I want to see Hawkeye and I just see this big fat fucking clapping ass. And it was like, <laughs> you know, and it's not even people I follow. Like it'll just be like targeted fucking ads to me. And it's yeah, just, yeah. It's so well, annoying. a lot of times they're not even real the bodies. They're just fake, like yeah. deep fakes. And it sucks because it's like, I'll, I'll remove the whores, but it's like because I like motorcycles and I have a bunch of fucking Harley pages I follow, then like I'll get like, you know, chicks with big fat asses clapping on motorcycles and it's like great and like now my instagram is mostly like jujitsu and fucking i've removed pretty much all comedy from my instagram which i'm really proud oh of. such a good move podcast can't, can't recommend that enough comedians podcasts no no you gotta subscribe to the podcast yeah. my no. instagram is mostly like food motorcycles and occasional i had to remove fat. all the food from my instagram that I was like the, the food that, one no of well, course that's how who I, doesn't, that's how who doesn't like chef. it but then you just get hungry and you can't do it anymore uh, I think yeah. like smart sweets like crazy. I follow like uh, really good ones are like uh, fitness food. Yeah, Instagram so I'll follow like yeah. I follow like two or three like healthy like recipe people, mm-hmm. but I don't ever fucking make what they're making. I just like looking at it. I like those fast cuts of the videos yeah. where it's like tomato, onion. I'm just doing the Sebastian bit where he's a Chipotle chicken. Beef. Uh, but it's what's what they do. They just throw all the ingredients into this thing. And then it's like 30 seconds and it's done. Yeah. And like, I like that, but like also like, you know, you don't have to make what they make, but like you can learn that like, yeah, I could just make a fucking like cheese out of like non like flavored Greek yogurt. And I'm like, okay, you that's cool. You can make cool. cheese out of yogurt. Well, you make like a cheese like sauce. You can make like, like all these, all these lifters, all these dudes that like low key, like the best like Instagram food shit is like a, f- you know, 28 year old bro. 28 year old bro is just jacked. He's like, dude, like I'm going to like, this is fucking you just this is a taco bowl i make mm-hmm. every fucking week and it's yeah. it, it's it's 600 calories per serving and it makes 15 servings and it's just like boom 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 and i'm like that looks good and then you just take like one quarter of that and you make your own thing with it yeah yeah i mean a lot of chicken lately and fish I've that's been really a lot good for myself lately i've got a three dollar cut of meat from ralph's bad idea yeah oh why would you do that uh i bought a cheap, cheap cut of lamb from whole foods recently and not, it was awful ida i don't Terrible. think you quite understand do not buy bad lamb. Lamb will fucking get you food. I've never been more food sick than from lamb. I barely could eat any of it. It was all fat. Good. It was lamb shoulder. It was like all fat. I like lamb shoulder. I like No, lamb it was good, but it was all fat. Did you get a real bony one? No, it, there was no bones. It was oh, okay. just it was just inedible. I've had it was really I've, inedible. I got a lamb shoulder one time. Mm-hmm. It was cut so poorly that I had the fucking joint in it. The oh, rounded, the ooh, rounded yeah, ball joint yeah. in it. I was like, "Are you out of your? Fi- this is fucking insane." What am I? Like, I felt put like I was on the Walking Gordon Dead. Ramsay like pork chop or sorry, lamb chop recipe. But of course, I, the, my cut was not, <coughs> did not, it didn't work. You know, and sometimes you know, 
You just get demoralized cooking when it doesn't go the right way, and then you just don't do it for a while, at least for me. I'm going to be real with you. Gordon Ramsay, when he cooks simple food, yeah, is, uh, and I'll talk my shit right now. Mm-hmm. There is no bigger Gordon Ramsay fan than I. Oh, no. What do you I have, have to been, say right now? I have been on Gordon okay. Ramsay since I was probably 13 years old. I've been watching all if of his shit. you come in with some contrarian... All of his shit. But when it comes to Gordon Ramsay, like, if it, if he's not making beef wellington or he's not making something that's like a steak or something that's like yeah, fancy... Yeah, you like to, like, shit on his egg no, recipe, no, no. but... His egg recipe's too... F- all professional chefs, they make their eggs way too fluffy. No, I, I don't like it. No, they're fabulous fluffy, no, no, no. John. I, eggs have to be well done. They have to be hard. They have to be slightly burnt. They have flavor to them. That's not true. Also, you don't even like eggs over easy? I love eggs over easy. I make eggs over easy every fucking day. I but make, what are you talking about? I make about? sunny side What do you mean it up. has to be burned? No, no. I'm saying when I make scrambled eggs, it can't be, like, fluffy like goo. Like, I like Well, not like everybody wants to put a bunch egg. of, like, Asian fish sauce in their egg recipe, John, well, which I feel like is something you're doing. Laogan ma in eggs is the best <laughs> fucking go. thing you can have in your, in your eggs. There Anyways, don't talk shit. Ma. You, one day, we're gonna, all of us I'm are gonna sorry, on vacation. Stop Asian I'm gonna make laogan ma. I'm gonna make laogan ma eggs and you're gonna Stop saying it like you're Asian. Laogan ma? It's driving me crazy. Enjoy laogan ma. Shangri, uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, fucking uh, Gordon Ramsay when he makes like sliders and oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. It just, it's like high end Applebee's. I'm sorry, throwing that out there. Oh, my God, yep. John. Yep. Oh, my God. Stick to beef. You're Wellington. eliminated. You're eliminated. Stop making burgers. By the way, I've eaten at a Gordon Ramsay restaurant. By in the way, Vegas. my friend is a casting director for Naked and Afraid. If you would like to go on, me? Yeah. Get me in there. Do you want to do it for, I'm bit. Serious inquiries only. By the way, if anybody listening to this would like to go on naked, naked and, and afraid, afraid with me, my friend is my friend Luke is a good Lucas is a is, is literally mm-hmm. casting director for it. He needs new people. Um, I was joking around saying I would do it. And he's like, "Are you serious? Like, we really need people." I was like, "No, no, no." He's like, "Well, if you know anybody, I'm like, I think I know a few people, and it would be great content for us, John, if you decided to volunteer." Sign me up, dude. No, for real though, you'd have to do it, but you would I'm tap saying, out. Sign you me ta- up. You would Hook tap out day you. one, day two. No, I wouldn't. He's offended now. What do you mean? Are you out of your fucking tree? Yeah. Are you out of your fucking tree? You don't think you would be eliminated immediately. Or you don't think you'd tap out immediately. Do you understand that I have... Uh, You're not a survivalist. You know what one of the side effects of having immensely high tea like me is? <laughs> what? Is you actually... Crying? Yeah. Well, cry, that was when I was on Finasteride. Oh, I did okay. cry the other day on the way home. Oh, God. Uh, I was listening to a song and I just started crying. That. I didn't cry, cry. I just, my eyes water up slightly. It's like, I think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the uh, uh, pain threshold. Uh-huh. I have a very high pain threshold. Well, I mean, but that's not the that's same thing as being a survival. It doesn't, having a high pain threshold doesn't mean you can like start a fire. It doesn't mean you can like withstand awfully cold temperatures they don't, or they don't like not give you like a fire starter kit on naked and afraid you have, no like, a fire you're pretty kit. fucking i mean first of all you're literally naked that's okay. that that's look, that's that's a up. crazy that's a crazy thing to be naked and if i'm naked on it i'm gonna go with like a fucking 1970s bush hold on a second Dude, one of the girls like died i think from like dengue fever or something where she like had like uh permanent brain damage or some shit pretty crazy how much do they pay we you should get a lava lamp how much do they video. pay you not not enough i'll tell you that much not enough for the kind of venereal diseases you're exposed to i can tell you it's not for the faint of heart okay you get to choose a knife machete a fire starter or a cooking pot to sterilize water um (sighs) yeah you don't get very many options it's not like a loan where you mean if i if i knew my shit if i fucking knew my shit the obvious choice is the knife and machete there's an old adage of a man in the amazon his back but he falls in the river his backpack falls off he has all the supplies in the backpack and he has to choose between a machete or his backpack and he always he grabs a machete machete is what you need you can Um, create a backpack essentially but you can't really create a fire starter i guess you could with wood but no very few people are successful on naked and afraid without the fire starter um it really also like you know the conditions have to be right it has it can't be wet it can't be rainy or you ain't starting a fire in that scenario i've seen a lot of naked and afraid let me tell you it is not easy um really not for the faint of heart sign me up i think you should do it for the content obviously i think if you start to feel like you're getting some sort of disease immediately tap out not worth it not nearly worth it um but i think that's not a bad idea he also you know he does a bunch of other reality shows do they give them condoms yeah i mean you know they have to use each other for body warmth for body heat i'm not gonna fuck somebody you might dude you Mm. might let's see no you might yeah lisa hagan two-time breast cancer survivor on naked afraid 
You might fuck something. You might I'll fuck see. a fucking. You might fuck a, a, a panther. Dirty fil- <laughs> I'll fuck, some <laughs> fuck a girl. panther to get some body heat. Um, in. let's see. Uh, naked and afraid. How much do they get paid? No, again, not enough. But I, I, I'm curious. You I have no like, idea. I think it's like 50k. I don't even think it's what. 50K. No, 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 no. It's actually way less than that. It's actually a really insultingly low amount. Yeah, it's got to be like five grand. That's crazy insulting. I'd do it for five. In grand. this economy, five grand, five grand to potentially get like hay fever. Or dengue fever or some they awful get a few thousand dollars a few grand yeah. dude that's a slap in the face you might as well pay them nothing horrific and then i mean and you're taxed out the ass too i'm sure so you get to keep what 400 bucks it's a shift at the restaurant it's a fucking shift at a restaurant that's that's your earnings that's your uh, earnings for giving your life to uh you know well think about all the free advertisement i could do for hate watch and ida hour you know. No, no, no! You should absolutely put your life at risk for the content. If I do this, yeah, put my name in the basket. Do you really want me to I'm do it now? Yeah. No, but John, how I'm, many times do I have to? How many times only. do I have to tell you before you take me seriously that yes, put my fucking name in okay, the basket? Okay, I'll text him right now. Yeah, text him right I'll text now. Him right now. Yeah, I'm really doing it. Yes. All right. God, you're so excited. I'm. Oh, I just looked at the meme on your. What meme? It is twelve twenty one. Hold on, one of my faves. Um, I'm texting him right now. Okay, don't Lucas, give a shit. Yeah. Lucas, my friend wants in on naked and afraid. Dude, John, this could skyrocket us. Like legit. Yeah, whatever. This would be a big deal. Like this could be a really big deal for us. Hmm. Let's see. highest psr rating dude i'm gonna have such a low psr rating yeah you've seen naked and afraid you know when they do the they rate the people at the beginning what when they rate the people at the beginning it's like he's a marine his psr ratings like this it's gonna oh be, right yeah they're they gonna rate that. they're gonna rate me and it's gonna be like podcaster psr rating zero <laughs> <laughs> let's look a little naked and afraid it's such a great show dude it really has brought it brought me so much joy at the beginning of the pandemic i watched almost every single episode and then i'll never forget the day i eventually got a discovery plus password and you know yeah it's just free episode I think I saw this one. That's Excel, though. I didn't like the Excel ones as much. I just kind of liked the regular. I don't want to be on Excel. I'll do one day. What's the difference between the Excel? Excel and why is didn't like 30 I like people it? in the middle of the woods naked. No, 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 no. We need, we need, we need to. No, that's not for me. Um, naked and afraid. Like best moments. Should we do that? Like. Yeah, whatever. Oh, this, this kind of rocks. Kicked out for stealing food from production. Holy shit. This might have to be our main episode because I really was going off about Vimeo before, but... You okay? Yep. Just got a break every once in a while. Standing up, huh? Let's get lightheaded real quick. Definitely noticed some physical changes. Um, Consistently, a little bit lightheaded. My whole body starts shaking violently. And yeah, women the are... Blood You're also drains. okay with women being fully ridiculous. naked? I, I saw yeah, a small I deal, a so I'm going to go get some <laughs> You've seen me at Wee Spa. So I can give I myself not. some energy, and I just hope that You've it goes away. It's definitely not like a you guys safe aren't actually thing. Naked around around fire and like, yeah, you have to get naked out. before you go into the fucking. So all of you guys, when you went, were all just naked. You have to around change. Each other. So you, Devin, room. and everybody was like, we're like no, naked. No, none of the guys got naked except in front of other guys except me because I was the only one who came. Who like doesn't give a fuck. No, because I like I like the idea of forcing my sexuality upon other men. That's okay. So so you're so you're a a gay uh not uh what is it predator. Forcing your sexuality. Desperation. Ida hates it when straight dudes act gay. Mm. I never said that. Like I surviving just said you're gay. To me. <laughs> yes. That's like Angelina from Jersey Shore, that girl. Yeah, she does look like Angelina. Like Dude, I'll be in there eating geckos and shit. Been oh, he's, look at his look at his booty. Ideas. Yeah, he's got a great ass. Can we show it's ass on here? Like I have zero ass. How, why is it that they're allowed to show ass on here, but you can't show ass in another that format? I came across on one of my treks through the woods. Protein is protein. Protein is protein. Want to try a bat or two? Love is love. I think a net out of my mesh tarp will be one of the best methods of attaining one. So I've cut a piece of the tarp out that I can use to roll up and insert a vine in to hoop it and i'm gonna tie off the sides damn this guy kicks ass and make a nice little net with a nice Until little he pole. steals food from production from craft craft services 
before I make a mecca to the bat cave, um, how do you feel about eating these? Feels a little nerve wracking for the same kind of bat that gives you nerve damage. Oh, they're about to I'm eat COVID? I'm thinking we stay away from the spine and the brains. Um, I eat bat wings. Cook it well through and through. Yep. I'd be willing to try. Go and get some shoes Making here. a little COVID for, for, for dinner. These limestone rocks are no joke. I mean, John, you really want to subject yeah. yourself to this horror? Why not? Because it's subjecting yourself to horror. That's why. Again, I don't want to dissuade you. Great content dark. for the show. Um, Please do it. And I did text him saying, as a serious so inquiry, that you would like um, to join me. I can't even yeah. tell. So you can't back out now. If it drops off and just. And because he has some pull, I think you could really oh. get on there. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> He's the real casting director for it. Stir He's also up. a phenomenally talented guitar player, but of course, th that, you know, talent is. It's got an eerie not feel. His source of revenue. Smell. And it's being a casting director for this lovely show. The trick to getting me is just fishing. While some bats what is are that? Safe to eat oh, those are cooking, bats? Fuck most no. can transmit an insidious I would not be in that cave with bats. Found in airborne spores from bat droppings. Fuck it no. Can lead to neurological diseases. Yes. And even Stay away death. from bats. Sounds like I'd literally rather, rather fuck away from bats. Flying. They have rabies. Whoa. Just rat. It's eating rat. You're eating a rat that it's, lives it's in giving, some shit. It's giving rat. They sound like fucking rats. It's giving rats. I'd be out there. I'd, be, I would, I'd swoop my my arm into the river and I'd pull up a salmon. It's like it's a hard. bear. I'd swoop exactly. That's me. I'd swoop my arm and grab a like salmon like a bear. I pull up a salmon and I go, uh, "All right, babe, we got food." It's not gonna be able to just snitch out of there. This guy's. This is hell, dude. This is hell. Not more difficult than I was expecting. Hey, you don't say. I hate to say it, but I think my. My bat trip is a, is a wash. Is this guy's possessed. The dilemma remaining is still have no protein. I just don't want to go back empty-handed. He wants to bring home the bacon for his for no his bats. lady. No bats. No bats. Yeah, why oh would my you God, eat she's a bat? Like, <sighs> don't eat a bat. What she's quit. like, like shut just the quit. fuck up. She's ah, oh, jeez. I want to just yell in their ear and be like, you That's can leave, you know. You could still get out of here. You're feeling lightheaded standing by the fire is probably not the place you want to be. Come this on is over okay. I'm gonna this I whole show just makes me so misogynistic. I'm if sorry. She doesn't get anything significant. John, you wouldn't be doing. I mean, she's come gonna on be now. You know what? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be going. I'm gonna, I'm gonna support her. Women get lightheaded much can. easier than men and, do. Uh, yeah, we know. See her way through. You're all bunch of pussies. No one should be doing this show. Nobody should be participating. That's what life's like, you know. I did really. How much? Oh, shit. Get her out of the fucking fire. Oh, my God. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> it's not funny. Talk to me. Yeah. You okay? It is, though, that because why are you here? Really like, don't she be there. Don't do this. Her arms on the ceiling. You know, I watched my buddy just I feel like Tom Segura, like, like a laughing at a car accident. She fell towards the fire, which really scared me. Hopefully she's it's 30 pounds. She can stay here. And we can Hell find yeah, a better dude. source of protein. <laughs> he picks her up immediately. That's some badass shit. <laughs> I'm naked and afraid. <laughs> I'm gonna clothe my bitch, I have a, and I'm gonna rub her neck. For Ava. I'm gonna pick her up like buddy, Bambi. Yeah, only I'm a provider. Support. Your only confidant. I just tell you. Mm -hmm. I never once thought I was leaving. This makes me want ramen noodles just really bad. Like I don't know, know why. They're a lot better than I would have ever yeah, known now she's someone in dependent. this short amount of time. Now she's becoming Our dependent. Bond is definitely <laughs> strong. Is so funny. But I thought about it last night. It's if incredible. She wasn't able to stay, you're like building her. a connection with someone as you're swatting away like mosquitoes. Dude, they're gonna start uh, making out. I'm gonna get out and scout around and see what we can find. I love the music too. It keeps you so, so engaged. Hopefully, I can come across some real protein. I don't want my partner to keep dropping. I would look up uh, having spells where she's falling out. Not gonna catch like a rat, it. buddy. It's, it's awful to look at. So many crevices. Be a great hole for I'd be eating bugs. rodents. No, you wouldn't. Snakes. I've eaten bugs before. God. I've eaten awesome. so many bugs. I'm not like 
I've what eaten are they, cockroaches. Like chichiro- chicharrones? No, or? I've eaten cockroaches. I've eaten spiders. I've eaten tarantulas. I've eaten grasshoppers, sure. scorpions. You've I'll eaten a fucking tarantula? It's literally hairy. What's yeah. wrong with you? It's uh, fucking fried up. God damn. I've eaten Disgusting. a lot of bugs. Disgusting. Holy it's like when Silvio looked at, I think it was Christopher, he goes, yeah, uh, in the toilet the water. Disgusting. That's interesting. You sat on little croissette? A croissant? Oh, wait, wait, wait. My body doesn't get nutrients soon. I don't know. I don't want this to be the turning point. He's like, listen, He's you, like, just, you're gonna you just got to suck it, suck the nutrients out of my dick. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't yeah. phrase it, though. He's like, hell yeah. Nah, you have no energy to fuck, dude, in this situation. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't want to fuck anyone. They're filthy. Yeah, that's another thing I didn't even think about. I would just be hoping back at base camp we'd hook up, you know. I love the music. It's like birds. The birds. Come on. I want to show you something I found. She looks like she's Uh on the precipice of death. I mean, it's just like insanely dangerous. It's it's really amazing. Day seventeen. As day oh shit. On day seventeen. Medics calling the production team for an emergency meeting. Just go ahead and tell me what happened. Anoche atrapamos a Steve y Eva tratando de robar comida. Les quitamos la comida. Stealing food. Y hicimos que regresaran al campamento. Made them return to their camp. Uh oh, you're gonna get kicked off. Look at the smile on that producer's face. And we got busted. Yeah, you got All right, They're will, fucking uh, trying to eat, and okay? Them, and I will pull them out of the challenge. You get nothing! It's like the end of Willy Wonka. <laughs> yeah. He walks over there and hits What's him with up? poison darts. Hey, guys. The medic told me that Stephen tried to steal food from the tent last night. Tried Ooh. being the key word here. You're being extracted, and that's going to be effective immediately. I'm sorry, but your challenge is over. There's not even, like, a grace period. Like, wow. Uh, it's a no-tolerance policy, so uh, we got to pull you guys. 17 days? Man, that's a lot, though. Wait, bo- I'll still both do of it. them? Both of them, though? I'll still do it. They made it 17 fucking days, dude. Oh, hold on. This guy fucking it, it battles a sandstorm in the Gobi Desert? That's a tough one, bro. How the fuck you live in no, the Gobi Desert? No, wait, this is I'm up against probably one of the strongest competitors so far. This is first man out. What the hell is that? Really high, so I'm gonna have to this is another one? First man out? How many of these are there? Brain. Outlast? How are you? Alone? Uh, pleasure to meet you. And you. What's up, brother? How you doing, dude? Didn't knit it yourself. Hey, I did. Yeah, you like that work? <laughs> I don't know that I like this one. He looks the part. He's dressed head to toe in sort of very authentic. Let's see this, bro. Oh, fuck that, bro. This isn't even naked and afraid. Oh, that would hurt so bad. Keep me warm. These these people aren't doing what Naked so, and Afraid's doing. They, they, go in, get the fire going, make the shelter. Seen enough fucking Survivor Man to get know that, right? You got a few days before you get hungry and thirsty. Mm-hmm. Um, get the fire, make the shelter. Um. Oh, this is amazing. Hold on. Woman threatens to let survival Even partner die and calls him the devil. Cakes, That's cool. We'll have berry cakes for a while. We could have like. I love his show so much. Line. Do you want to watch well, this? I love that idea. It's kind of nice sound. I miss the show. It brought me so much joy. We kind of stay out of each other's hair. So she doesn't have to worry about what I'm doing and vice versa. It really works out for the better. (sighs) I need a minute. (sighs) I really need something to drink. Oh, yeah, I need to sit down. I'm feeling really, really lightheaded. Figured. (laughs) Yeah, he's eating berries. Need some water? This whole day he hasn't drank anything. And I'm really worried about him. Oh. This doesn't feel right at all. Something's really wrong. Something's really wrong? Yeah, you're naked in the jungle. That's what's going on, buddy. Do you, I need to call the medic. No, I just need water. I don't understand why he can't hydrate himself. When there's a flowing water source right there. You need a drink. It's just Bobby Lee. dehydrated. Mm-hmm. And the longer you take to take that first drink, yeah. the more dehydrated yeah. you're going to get. Okay. Yeah, drink the water, dumbass. Drink some water, idiot. That he hadn't drank water. <sighs> it's just really odd for me to have to tell a 40-year-old survivor <laughs> how to survive. This is the second time you've gotten like this in 10 days. 
Okay. I got it. Yep, I just had to get past that first little wave. Oh, nope, the feeling's passing. Why is he not drinking water? Nothing Drink out here water, takes more priority freak. than water. Yep. You'll die fastest without that. He's an attention yeah, whore. Right. That's what he I is. I need to Smell these people from a, a mile away. When you went hiking, you Look were at the gone hair. You could tell from what the hair. This would have happened. I wouldn't yeah. be able to help you. Yeah. And then what? I just have to rest and just wait for my body to recover. So you I don't recover it like that. You don't know how dehydration works. That's not how it works. Once you've hit the point where you're on the ground, you're yeah. hours away from things starting to shut down. Like, Joe, you can die. I feel like it was just a combination of a bunch of things. It's just, what? It's just what are you talking about? Like, like does she even need to be here lot. for this conversation? Stop He's like talking stubborn. to himself. You need to drink. If you don't drink, I'm not bringing you water anymore. I'll let you die. Damn. Like, I'm over He's it, like, Joe. What? Like, I have tried to help you. When is the gravity of this situation gonna hit you? Can you please get out of the sun? Either that or tap out, Joe, because you don't belong here. Yeah, why is he in the sun? Like, this guy's an attention whore. Okay. Going back through how it happened in the sequence, I'm questioning whether or not it was dehydration. Then give me okay. the <laughs> Obviously, you don't need it. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> awesome. I'll put the fire out that I just got going to. Damn. Well, Bonnie, yeah, don't so lose the water. So things to get through to him, and I don't know how. All right. I'm going to be so annoying to these people. <laughs> Look, you're standing up now after <laughs> yeah. getting some water. I'm going to be like, Mommy, bring me water. <laughs> John's going to turn into this guy. He's going to be like, well, after thinking about the sequence of events, I don't think it was the dehydration. I was dehydrated. Okay, I needed water. I'm yeah, she gave that. The editing in this show man. is impeccable. Yeah. They really right. have impeccable I'm comedic just, editing. I'm really, really just tired of arguing with you. Oh, for God's sake. Because they choose a villain. You have to choose a villain, yeah. and you have to edit There's accordingly. No so I told her exactly what she wanted to hear. Oh, so but when you look at the raw footage, it's an obvious villain. Like it's obvious which one is the retard. Mm -hmm. uh, I hate conflict, and that just makes it even worse. I hate I conflict. That's why I didn't drink the water. I have BPD. <laughs> Can you just do me a favor and listen to me? Yeah. Thank you. He's like, I Get hate out women. Of the sun. Get out of the like, sun. I'm not being nice about it anymore. I'm giving you orders. Until either you break and go home or you break and get good at this. <laughs> yeah. She kicks ass. If he left. He's so stubborn and denies logic. I really struggle being around people like that. I do too, In honey. Fact, I don't even know if I've ever met anyone like that except for 16 year old me and my father. Damn. Like, that's it. I'm not boiling your water anymore, dude. You're just standing in the sun. I keep pacing back and forth. It's too you're, cold you're to just so stand You're so right. In the sun. You're always right, Joe. What, did you hang out in the shade just to appease her now? Yes, <laughs> to appease yeah. your fucking help. No, where in the world You get so invested. I get so point, angry. Just, yeah. Oh my God, I love this show. Completely. I feel so Stick alive when I watch this. Look at that guy. What a great guy. I absolutely moose. hate oh, who I am as a person so when moose. I'm around this man. Love that moose. That's not who I am. That's never been who Preach. I am. Preach. Preach. I can't be around him. I feel you, girl. No. You and can't. you shouldn't have to be. You shouldn't have to deal with that guy. You shouldn't have to deal with Hey, you deserve better. Uh -oh. oh, my God. He's going to get killed by a bear. How cute. Black bears are scary. Oh, my Not goodness. He is adorable. Right now. So I may have to move on to a, a little different ground. Jeez, he wants attention. He wants to pass out in the sun for all to see. Babysitting? You're like babysitting? This guy has to be just like a troll, right? Like he's Maybe. fucking with her oh on purpose. God. Are you going to eat the berries again? <laughs> That's the most raspberries I think I've ever seen. Oh, wait. Seen. They're actual raspberries, right? Oh, this is beautiful. There are easily thousands upon thousands of raspberries up here. Okay, my little uh, quest for some peace and quiet ended up. How do raspberries uh, just, just grow say, naturally? It's been very fruitful. I like thought you'd have to harvest plant. that. This is giving me one hell of a moral dilemma. Do you share the raspberries? If yeah, you don't I share the raspberries, morning, do I really want to share these? Uh, yeah, she I mean, shared the water with you, asshole. Time. This is like in Pine Barrens where you know Christopher yeah. and, and Polly Walnuts have to offer. share the ketchup packets. <laughs> it's really sad. But it's like you share the you share it. You awake, Sam? In Fresh Prince, What's when that? Will has to well, decide if he I wants to give the breath mints uh, to the fake girl. Who would interest you? I have half to three quarters of a pint of raspberries, and I got a whole bunch of leaves. I was gonna brew up some tea in a little bit. If you would like something. That is nice. 
Good for I you. I don't want anything. Damn! Damn. I eat those berries. He's gonna think that everything's fine, and it's not. But I you know should I'm eat the berries right now. But his actions remind me of how my dad used to be. Well, honey, this is like a survival head, show. What like... was right and what was wrong? Because in his mind, he knows best. This is one of the reasons why I ended up homeless because I refused All right, to bow okay. to anyone's All ignorance. Right. Okay. Like, you guys don't understand how exhausting. So there, but this is what happens in the show. Inevitably, it always devolves into both of them being insane. Because you'll like you'll they'll start to be on one person's side, mm -hmm. and then eventually you turn on them too, and then you realize that both of them are idiots. Like both of them are, yeah. are absolute. I can't wait for me to be a complete retard on this. show. No, you're gonna be on Man, this, but to be in this position with somebody. What happens? I want to hear her call him the devil. She does do that. Says she'd let the partner what die. Are you doing? You're like literally straddling me with your arms. Get off me, bro. So Could not get over. <laughs> I love this like, show. She's like raping her in their life. All right, last question, and I'll leave. I below. literally don't want to speak to you. How do you want to split the blankets? I don't give a what you do. I'm gonna make sure I'm warm. Damn. I'm going to grab the bottom of that. Okay, but see, now he's like acting like he, oh, I'm just the victim. He needs a blanket, bro. No, of course, yeah. but. I'm so angry. I am angry, and you don't understand why. Isn't that crazy? So when are you tapping out? <laughs> Shots fired. Like he sounds like a wounded puppy. I want to see some stars. This is my shelter. Joe, get out. I helped build some of this too. What, like the ten branches and the mud you put on it? <laughs> I'll take down this fireplace and you can have a good night. If you'll let me use the machete tomorrow, I will start building my own. Honestly, I don't feel like you did very much soul searching today. I heard you got like. Oh my god! Soul searching. You didn't think at all about what happened earlier. Foraging, get some space. Oh, I, I went foraging to get some space. I'm gonna start using that as an excuse. I'm gonna just use that as a line. I need some space. I have to go foraging. I have to go forage. Find some peace and quiet around here. They're just gonna fuck like what, like like rabbit animals in a minute. Oh, she's she's about to have a breakdown. Oh, she's out of her mind. Actually, really awful human being. You're the devil. You really are a terrible person. Oh, <laughs> she thinks she's talking like, to her dad. I, I couldn't trust you. <laughs> she's like, dude, literally shut. talking she's to her got, father. Dude, two BBD I people. I was such an evil human being. I literally stuck in the woods with the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, shut up, bitch. <gasps> it's such a good show, John. I can't wait for you to be on here. All right, man, it'll be fun. <laughs> It'll be really fun. What are what is okay? So you're gonna you're gonna you have to choose between go Gobi Desert, Sahara Desert. Fuck that, no. Alaska. Ooh, that's that's rough. That's really rough. I mean, on, honestly, the the tropical areas are gonna be the best. But that's oh no be no no because there's the worst bugs, the worst bugs the, the mo diseases. most diseases the diseases. But no, that's where you're gonna have the most like readily available water and food. Shit true, there. but then what about when the sun comes? Like, would you rather be in a cold environment or a warm environment? Warm for sure. Because you don't have to. Work there's a though. reason why, like you know, near the equator. Uh, uh, you know, there's like there's there's so many like uh, fruit farms and stuff. The new season of Naked and Afraid, they should just be able to like bring a van. Yeah, <laughs> you should just, be able to just choose just between Gabby a machete Potato simulator. Yeah, you should be able to choose between a machete, an airstream, or yeah. or a fire starter. Yeah, I would join. I think you get all three. I what do you, you mean? Get a machete, you get a pot, and you get a thing. Um, oh, you get all three? I think so. Yeah, because I think between the three of them, they each get. They each get choose, something. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Survival use gear used on naked and afraid. Um, not yeah. They get a knife automatically. Yeah. So the most 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 picked ones: a knife and machete. Third is the fire starter, and and well, the second is fire starter, and third is pots and goggles. Now, what's the difference between a fire starter and just literally just like a lighter? Well, fire starter is like a flint and uh, like a flint. What's a flint? So say see so you have a. You have a stick that's like a steel stick, and then you have another kind of like block, and then you take the steel stick and you um, you scratch off a bunch of the bit of the steel. It's like a brittle steel, mm -hmm. and then you take a knife to the stick, 
and then it start and sparks are made and the steel that you just scratched off catches goes poof really quickly and then you have like tinder around and that catches on fire well i just remember so many episodes the fire starter <laughs> wouldn't even work they couldn't even get it to start a fire often well a lot of people don't they think you could just start a fire by hitting the stick with the knife and yeah. starting the sparks but in reality you're supposed to scratch off a lot of the little stuff until it makes like a little pile and then it goes poof so you actually maybe could survive. I've watched show. like every episode of Survivor. Man. <laughs> I've watched every I episode of Alone. I love <laughs> I've like I'm gonna I'm gonna I love, I'm gonna show I love up there. How deeply like he takes this so seriously. I'm gonna show up there very humble. Yeah. I'm gonna show up there very humble. Oh, I'm sure. gonna go listen. I, I know nothing. I know nothing. Obviously, they're gonna uh, pick somebody. Oh knows, obviously, gonna pick nothing. a partner that has like a high. They're not gonna have because I'm gonna have the lowest score. So oh, they're gonna okay. pick. They're gonna pick somebody as a really high score. It's gonna be like a woman, mm. and they're gonna look at me and they're gonna see that I'm an entertainer and a talker, and they're gonna know. <laughs> they're gonna know. I'm that gonna. I'm going to annoy the fuck out of this woman. Yeah. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be bad. <laughs> they're gonna know you're a talker. No, oh, they're gonna know I'm a talker. It's gonna be bad. I'm gonna show up. I'm gonna be like, listen, listen. We're gonna be day fifteen. You're gonna be on your period, and you're gonna hate me. <laughs> And I, you're going to know everything. I'm not going to do anything. I'm literally going to be the biggest dead weight ever. And it's and I'm just going to be making jokes that she won't like. And she's and then she's going to go full BPD. It's going to be exactly this yeah. scenario. Yeah, exactly. And you're going to be standing in the sun. I'll be like, I'll be like. I'll, John's going to be up. looking directly into the sun. Well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I should do a whole, like, I'll, I'll start calling her, like, pet names. I'll be like, Moon Baby. Oh, God. She's going <laughs> to fucking kill you fucking in the middle me. of the night. And the, they're also, yeah. they also start tripping, right? Because they're so hungry hungry and so insane yeah that they she probably literally thought that guy was her dad like in that moment she yeah, probably she's was like, like she's like my asian dad <laughs> uh no nah, I'll, I'll uh i'll kick some ass i'll go out there um i'll probably just show up and be very humble and be like listen if you know I'll, I'll probably get like some ex like marine uh seer expert that like you're gonna fall in love with your partner no you don't think so no i, I don't think i don't I don't, I don't i fall in love very easily with very specific women i don't fall in love with every woman but I think if you had a survivalist, that's like a prototype for you that you'd be into. Yeah, a mommy dommy in the jungle. A yeah. mommy dommy in the jungle. That's yeah. the title of the episode. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> mommy dommy in the jungle. Holy that sounds like shit. a song they made in the fifties. That's an all timer. Yeah, that I'll be like all timer. A, a mommy dommy in the jungle. I'll be like, I'll be like, listen, are you gonna be weird if I call you mommy? <laughs> be like let's uh, the first food she brings me Will i'll be like my tummy i'll be like mom i'll be like give me your boobs no, um no. yeah if, if you if I you just, like if smell you, a lawsuit tell him from so far away. yeah tell tell your buddy who's in charge of casting be like if he really wants to fuck up my brain uh give me the thickest bitch out there <laughs> the thickest survivalist chick out there that um you know it's kind of like a Grateful Dead. If you could just get like a Lizzo to, to no, 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 no. Well, no, I mean, no, no, you no, could no, just no. Uh, you could cut off one of her limbs as food. And yeah, she wouldn't notice. Uh, you know, my un my my endearing spirit and uh, all that stuff it will prevail. It would prevail, yeah. Mm. And I think um I think you'd be able to probably I think you'd be good at foraging. I think you could forage. Yeah, they got to give us like a basic. I would be great at foraging. I my whole skill if I had to do this because I've already thought about this. I would learn all about the plants and I would learn all about yeah. the flowers. Yeah, I don't think I would, I would come in there unprepared. I'd turn into some like you know uh, hippie avocado you know leaf eating bunny rabbit type of girl, and I'd just like hop around and I'd try to find berries and fruit and nuts and stuff. Yeah, the day before I go in there, I'd eat like my body weight and carbohydrates and just. Fucking, yeah, you have to. Yeah. You also can't go in there, dude, without some extra fat on you. Like people, Bro, that go, people I'm that go in there with no fat, golden pony boy. Yeah, but like some of these people that go in there, it'll be like they a girl. Faint. She she's like 120 pounds and she's like five foot five. I'm like, you're not gonna. You need to, or sometimes it's less than that. Even I'm like, you need to have significantly more like meat on your bones, or you're really not gonna survive this. Yeah, look how seriously I'm taking it. Like suddenly you watch a show and like you just become an expert in survivalism. Like everybody starts to figure out like all the things that they would because you have to find your strengths. You have to really play to your strengths. You really have to play to like the. I would do the botany, right? Yeah, I think like. I think like I would knit I would start w using stuff to like knit together a basket or mm -hmm. like um um or a you know some something for our tent well, the easiest proteins probably bugs followed by fish and uh I would um that's right fishing you have to know how to fish I, I fished I've done a lot of fishing in my life and okay. um I know a lot of tricks 
the water situation is hard though because you can't just drink water from the river or the ocean. You can drink water from a running water source. Uh, it's not the most ideal, but you can. But sometimes I don't even know where they find this water. Sometimes they literally have to wait for it to like. You can't drink rain, can you? Yeah, dude. Yeah, fuck you, yeah. You, you can. can drink rain. Yeah, dude. But you can't drink water out of. I didn't Rain's even really, know. This. You can take a plastic if you have like a a fern, like a very green. If you have a plastic bag, you can take the plastic bag and just put it over the fern. Mm-hmm. And then tie it off at one end, and over the day, water will collect inside the bag, and you can drink that. Oh. Um, what is that thing where they say sailors are out in the... There's so much water, but they're all thirsty. Um, well, it's because the salt water dehydrates you. Right, so you can't drink that water. You can't water. drink that water. They have been, like... There have been cases where guys drink that water, though. And, and they survive? Sick. Yeah. You, you just dr- get you sick. Drink, you can drink on urine. Oof. Um, yeah, Saul, Saul Goodman did that in, in the desert if you do that. Yeah. Desert environment actually might not be so bad. No, desert environment's the worst one to be in. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> Why? Sure. Because nothing grows out there and there's no water. That's true. But <laughs> you have your mind. <laughs> just like less bugs and stuff. There's probably scorpions and shit. Oh, A lot of like centipedes no. and Oh, no, 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 and no, no. fucking no, no, rattlesnakes no. And, uh-uh. and I like to think I'd rather be in Alaska like in a snowy environment just cuz I think it's just, I it looks hate, idyllic. I hate being cold. I hate more being than being cold. hot. I hate being cold while trying to sleep. That would drive me up. A, that would drive me insane. But if you can start a fire, if you have a fire starter, have you camped? I have camped. Doesn't do much. Also, you have to keep that In fire. Texas, you have to though. keep that. You have to keep that fire going all night. It fucking sucks ass. That would yeah. Be how horrible. do you sleep when you're worried looking over a fire? Because some of these people will set their entire shelters on fire. Like their whole yeah, shelter that's, will just. That's the thing. Incinerate. Also, you can't you can't sleep underneath. Like, you shouldn't be like starting a fire underneath like a rock. Like a lot of people will go under rocks and start fires under like rock faces. That's um, good though, right? Because you don't have to worry no, about trees. Because and the stuff. rocks will fucking crack because of the heat of the fire underneath it, and then collapse on you and you kill you. Well, why doesn't that happen with trees and stuff? I mean, wouldn't a tree light on fire because it's bark? I, it's, really, it's really it hard trees. it's really hard to burn green wood that's the other thing that's why you have to season wood so like wood what you, so wood when you cut a tree down you have to um let the tree that so when you cut the tree down you have to let the wood sit for like a year what? before it can be burned yeah it's called well, then green wait, wood. how do they fire ga- uh, gather it's firewood just, it's just very i mean they do that out there but you should be looking for dry dead trees that have already fallen you should be looking if you have oh a wet, because the water inside yeah if, i see if I you see. have a tree that's like wet if you have a like greener wood you can cut to the center of the tree to like find drier wood um can you eat tree bark because some of the supplements i take have tree bark in them there's some tree bark you probably could eat there's probably other tree bark that you shouldn't eat and i would be very suspect of that is there any survival thing or like with palm trees around because you could cut down those and eat the hearts of palm mm-hmm. i don't know what palm trees you eat though there's a lot of different palm trees are there yeah how there's do you like know little about shorts. trees how do you know all this i know like i'm autistic and i know a lot of shit <laughs> like i don't think you're so funny to me it's like you know, i know a lot of retarded shit i've read like a lot of survival manuals like front to back really yeah i've read okay, i have, then I have you survivalist were born for manuals this. i've i have uh i have like yeah I, john our entire lives have been leading for like have it just been leading up to you being on naked and afraid yeah i mean i think like foraging is probably the the best thing you can like if you see like a vine if you're in like costa rica and there's a big vine you can cut the vine and drink the water that comes out of the oh vine. that's i've seen them do that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i would do that um, i would do some shit like that i would forage i'd find berries i'd find mm-hmm. nuts i'd you know if you're in if you're in the jungle you have to make a you have to make sure your sleeping is elevated off the ground because why because of bugs oh god so you just elevate your you make like a little like a uh, little like elevated bed I would literally rather do anything than do this, but I think you actually could, could take something from this experience and, and, and I mean, like I've been, I've been doing jits for like fucking a year and a half. This was a humbling thing I ever did in my life. So not so t- like, until you do naked and afraid and yeah, naked and afraid is gonna be very, humbling. that's going to be the most humbling thing. I'm going to be like, this is fun. I'm be like, this is fun. Yeah. I'm you're going to, you're going to be really like cash about it when you're there. Yeah, They're going to hate the, my partner's going to fucking <laughs> you know hate how that my that guy guts. got sent home for like stealing the food. They're going to send you home for like texting. Yeah. They're going <laughs> like, to send me home. They're going to send me home because they're like, steal a phone. Yeah, if, if naked Megan Freda's run by Devin and Ida would be like, you sent home because you don't want to watch The Sopranos with us. And be like, he's just going to, they're going to be like, where the fuck did this guy get a phone? And he like snuck it in between his ass cheeks or something. Yeah. It's like to prison. S- <laughs> um, it's going to be great. I think you're going to have a great time on Naked and Afraid. I think you're going to really kill it. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe in you. Um, I think you're going to bring a lot of great content. I think a lot of good is going to come out of this. Yeah. And I think um, at worst, you get a venereal disease, whatever. You yeah, know, whatever. Whatever. 
we'll survive it. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you for being here. These these are the most fun to do. So, um, you know, <laughs> apologize for my insane Vimeo ramp, but it was a massive point of contention for me and took up the better part of my day. Um, but yeah, thank you for being here. We will see you next week. Uh, and uh, have a good night.